what are the hardest and easiest parts about your job and about being an entrepreneur? So it's really interesting to think about the, you know, the idea of entrepreneur as a job because compared to everything else I've ever done, it is, you know, it's a way of life more than anything. Um, you know, I don't take time to myself or weekends like other people. I do have some measure of balance, but it's a balance that looks very different from the balance that I've had at any other job or any other part of my life. Um, I think some of the hardest things, um, one is dealing with the uncertainty. Not only the uncertainty of what is happening to the company, you know, will you close this massive round and head into a huge period of hiring and growth? Or will you know, the round fall through and all the investors get lukewarm and you're going to have to really tighten your, you know, your, your boots and, and go through another ramen winter? And a lot of times you don't know. And you can say that you know. And, and even if you're 90% sure, I think never more have I been so aware of that 2%, 1%, that tiny little fluke case that could happen. When you're an entrepreneur, it's, it's always something you have to think about because not thinking about it could, could cost you the company. Um, I think that's one of the hard things. The other tough thing is you have to make a lot of decisions about things that you don't know the answer to. Um, you know, when you're starting, if you, I've got two co-founders, um, Alex Kavalakis and Melissa McCreary. They're absolutely fantastic. You know, the three of us are very, very different, but we're all good at different things. And so when we started working on the Muse, we kind of split the universe of things into three different pieces, and we said, okay, we're going to all work together on certain things, but each of us is going to be responsible for this area. And even within that, there are so many decisions, so like X or Y. Fundamentally, I have no idea, but I have to make the decision. And if it's a really important decision, you talk to others, you do research, you find an advisor. If it's less important, often you just have to pick one and make sure you learn enough from it that if you do pick the wrong one, you won't make that mistake twice. And so I think being very, very comfortable with a kind of a high level of um, imperfection and, um, and really being comfortable with the fact that you're going to be learning a lot on the job. And the main thing is you don't want to make any life-threatening mistakes. You don't want to make the same mistake twice, but accept that you're going to make so many little ones. Um, easiest things about being an entrepreneur. I think right now being an entrepreneur is very trendy. Trendy, So people definitely tell you all the time, like, I think it's really cool what you're doing. Um, it's funny. I went back to my uh, college reunion recently, and a lot of people were like, oh, my God, you know, I saw you on Bloomberg TV talking about your company. That's so great. And it was really flattering and awesome. But there's also part of me thinking, like, man, you know, like, I have, like, like barely four digits in my bank account. Um, you know, I haven't been able to do a lot of like great things in years and I kind of give every single waking moment to this company and like it is great but I think it's easy sometimes not to see the hard stuff so anyway the point is that um, people give you a lot of positive reinforcement especially in New York and the Valley so that that definitely helps um, the other thing that I love is getting feedback from users I would say the absolute number one thing you can do to keep your morale up as an entrepreneur is set up a pipeline where people who use your product can talk to you because every day that, you know, there's like too many things to do, I don't have enough time, or, you know, there's just a lot of stress, you get those emails from people who say, I want to tell you that I came on the news and it changed my life. Or I just discovered you a month ago, I've been coming every day, and I can't imagine, you know, what I did before finding you and finding the news community. And like, that's amazing. That kind of gets you going. So that's probably some of the easier and better parts. <laughs>